Good morning. So this will be daily attendance for May 16th. And before we get started, I have braces. And for whatever reason, I've been like slurring a lot and spitting. So my apologies, but I can't take them off. I'll be having a, doc a dentist appointment this week. And I think my trays don't fit. So if I seem like kind of weird and I speak kind of weird, I do because I have my braces. So please forgive me. So welcome to my class, okay? If you made it here, that's great, yay. If um, if you still see that there's some students that are kind of lost, please direct them to my YouTube channel, all right? There's been a lot of confusion about, you know, what's the chapter, you know, chapter one and what's the homework. So you can only view the chapter one, okay? And that's just, it doesn't give you the homework. You have to watch my daily attendance videos, which will be on Monday and Tuesday. So the rest of the week, you can work on other classes and you can also work on your homework. I will be giving homework assignments on Monday, all right? So that's why there was no um, uh, homework instructions yesterday, because all I wanted you to do is to watch my, my bio, right? And then of course the welcome video that counts as a daily attendance where you have to go into YouTube, comment right here, I'm so-and-so, whatever it is that you want to comment and then from there take a screenshot and then the screenshot needs to go you need to go into su and then upload it on su i had a student reach out which was great all right and she's like i can't seem to uh, upload it so if you can't upload your in your homework or your daily attendance or your screenshots you probably are having technical issues related to internet okay now, if, if it's other things, yeah, it has to be internet. If there's other things like maybe YouTube or it doesn't allow you to sort of view it, then that means that you have your settings wrong, okay? I would highly recommend that you uh, turn on the notifications for my, cha for my channel so that way anytime that I upload, you'll know because sometimes I will be uploading at different times other than Monday and Tuesday if there's something that came up or there's something important or I missed something or there's like uh, maybe confusion on some sort of instructions, okay? You do have to subscribe to my channel, hopefully, you know, so please do so and do not use your school email. I'm so sorry. All right, so, so um, daily attendance is Monday and Tuesday only, okay? And that's gonna be, you know, so let me tell you something about daily attendance. Daily attendance needs to be turned in by like five o'clock. I think I put 1,700 hours and I don't know what hour that is, 15, 16, 17, yeah, five o'clock, I always have to count it. Um, you know, my military people always know, you know, what time that is, but I don't. So um, I always put the deadline uh, for it to be on this uh, five o'clock because that is what we need. That's when we have to turn in our daily attendance because it has to be, you know, that specific day. I know it's crazy, but anyway, so those are our requirements, okay? So um, that doesn't mean that you can't upload it a different time. The, 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 what that means, and you know, please take notes with my um, videos, okay? Because this is gonna be a long one. So please take notes and that way you don't miss anything, okay? So, um, so going back to daily attendance, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna close it or cut it off at that time. What it does mean is that whoever uploaded it at that time, I, you will be counted, um, uh, here, attendance, um, you know, um, not absence, right? Present, you're gonna be counted present for that specific day. So for yesterday, you know, I took the, you know, I, I took roll and then of course I reported it back to where I have to report it back to so my director and my boss can see it because we do have a program that is a retention program. And so it catches anybody that has fallen behind and is failing my failing the courses. And so we have, you know, some sort of like re, um, retention program where we try to retain you based on, you know, helping you out. OK, but um, but, you know, we can only help as much as you want to be helped. <laughs> OK, you can say that you want to be helped you know, all this stuff or whatever. And if you never turn in everything, anything in, or you come and show up on the fifth week of, you know, of the term, well, that's not going to go well. Okay. So, and it's al almost an impossibility for you to remake and to do everything else. And if you show up to just one class, 
you know, you haven't shown up to, you know, one class and you've shown up to the other ones. And so you've chosen to really miss one class. Well, that's not going to go well either. But when, but anyway, so that doesn't mean that you're not going to get credit for it. You're going to get full credit for whatever assignment and whatever daily attendance you upload. Okay. As long as you can upload it, I will not be opening up the assignments. So, um, you know, so be mindful. The other thing is that I usually leave the assignments open for like two days after. So I'm not telling you to wait. That just means that if for whatever reason you had no, like you couldn't, you know, you couldn't for the life of you, whatever, get it in. That means that you, the the deadline isn't necessarily when I cut off the date, okay? But the sooner you get it in, the quicker and the faster, okay? Because Murphy's Law, like you might not get it in and you think you're going to get it in later. So don't be a procrastinator because then something always happens. Something happens with your, you know, with your internet or, you know, the ability to upload or your computer or whatever, and then you can't, okay? I give you a lot of time so you can get my class class ready and then you don't have to worry about it and that way you can work on the other classes that you um, could work on okay so make sure that you get your daily attendance in on time because you will be counted late or apps you will be counted absent or present excuse me depending on um on whether you get it in on time or not that doesn't mean that you're not going to get full credit if you're able to upload that just means that if you don't get it in by five you will be counted absent and for my military or if there's any type of other you know um you know financial aid that you're receiving i think that that's really important so make sure that you're really up on that I wasn't going to discuss this here now but i am right now because it's really really important and i think i discuss it in my videos okay um so if you fail a class, okay, first and foremost, you're going to have to retake it, but we cannot drop you. All right. So if you are in your other classes and you don't go and you don't show up to one of the classes, I cannot drop you. Okay. And so all I, all I can do is give you zeros and zeros and zeros and zeros. So what the zeros do is that they really lower your GPA, okay? And it's an, almost an impossibility at, at certain point in your GPA to bring it up. The other thing about that is that you're gonna have to retake it. So not only are they gonna charge you for the class that you failed, okay? But you're also gonna have to retake the class again, so they're gonna charge you again. Now, uh, you know, a, a warning, okay, on this. Anybody that fails my class the first time can't pass it a second time. All right, I don't know what it is. And then they can't pass it a second time, and then they can't pass it a third time, and then they can't pass it a fourth time, and then they're almost graduating and they still can't pass my class. And I give like three classes. I give two Englishes and one business communication. So there's a lot of students that for whatever reason, you know, they don't like me or they fail my class, which is completely unacceptable. And then, um, and then they take it personal and they take it against me. So then there's this weird, you know, energy and this weird dynamic. And then they sort of, that's a perfect example of like cutting your nose to spite your face. So because they're mad at me for whatever reason, right? Who knows? It, it, uh, this has to do everything with whoever's mad, right? And so you can't pass it. So I highly encourage you to really buckle down. My class is probably the easiest class that you will take in SU. And I do that on purpose, okay? I'm, I'm not dumb and I'm not stupid. I, I am a retired high school principal, so I know my curriculum exceptionally, exceptionally well. And I can make it as difficult and as easy as I want. The reason that I make it so easy is because you're going to need a break during your, your you know, journey of school, okay? And so my class, if you get 100, will be able to leverage, okay, or level out or average out your GPA in case you have a B or in case you barely passed a, a class and do a D. So if you get a D, then you can get a C if you have 100 in mind. Or if you get a B, then you can have almost a 4.0, you know, if you, if you get 100 in mind, okay? So so if you have really good grades. So instead of being resentful because you have to take this class because this is English, you know, whether English 133 or 145 or business communication and you feel like this is so stupid, please take it as an advantage and um, and really use it to your 
uh, favor and also optimize it, right? And so um, don't be resentful about it. it. This this is the deal in any school that you would be able to go to. There's certain requirements. There's classes that you're going to have to take that you think are stupid, that you think are irrelevant, but there's there are courses. And, and so, you know, as I mentioned, school is a dictatorship. It is not a democracy. And so we are dictated whatever it is that we need to take in case, you know, we want to get um, a degree, okay, or um, a certification or a license, okay? There's certain things that sort of like your driver's license, okay? I mean, you know, there's certain requirements that are required that you need to fulfill. So don't get mad. My class is really easy. You saw this in middle school or high school, um, you know, if you went to the States, um, here in the States. If you didn't and you came from Mexico, then this is a refresher course, okay? It is online that, you know, instead of saying, I hate online, um, it is what it is, right? And be grateful that, you know, that it'll free up your time and that these courses specifically are the ones that are online because with that, then it just facilitates and it frees up your time and it facilitates your time. And this is the way of the future. Okay, I'm getting all these messages, so please forgive me. So this is the way of the future and this is what we're gonna be living now, okay? So just, you know, um, and if you don't like me personally, okay, just, you need to get through it. It's just, I don't know what to tell you, right? Um, you could probably ask for another teacher. Um, I don't know that there are many, you know, so um, let's just get through it, you know, and, and whatever. There's going to be people you're going to like, and there's people that you're not going to like, and that's just sort of life, you know. We're not going to be able to pick our coworkers, and so this is a trial run for that, okay? And this is a huge uh, problem in, in business, you know. They say that, you know, the biggest problem is that, you know, the people coming in, the employees don't know how to collaborate and how to work as a team, so really huge on that. The other thing is that I am an English teacher, okay? Okay, so I understand and, you know, I get very frustrated in teams if you, I mean, not in teams, if you um, c communicate or contact me through the bubble, right, the messenger on SU, I will probably have a lot of misspelled words because I am blindly, you know, typing in my, um, my answer because there's a little bubble there that you can chat with whoever it is that you can chat with, okay, like somebody, you know, that supposedly, you know, I don't know, can ask questions answer questions or whatever having to do with the program or with you I don't know what it is anyway so that little bubble always like blocks my little square where I can type in my stuff so half of the time I can't see what I'm typing and it because the bubble takes up the whole space so if I am um misspelling words and it and it just doesn't make any sense bear with me because I can't see what I'm writing until I hit the send button and then it comes up okay I've already asked them to move it and for whatever reason I don't think they can but anyway so be mindful of that also if you're texting me through teams um I hate out I hate autocorrect but it automatically autocorrects and so sometimes it just invents the word that it wants to put there and so that's it I'm also very busy so and I'm a really quick texter even though I'm not a very good texter but I'm a really quick texter so what that means is that I probably sometimes will um you know text incorrectly okay but having said that if you if you it, okay so get ready I mean take a notes this is going to be a long video okay if you like misspell something tremendously, okay? Or you um, say something um, that is incorrect, super incorrect. I am your teacher, and um, and I'm not your buddy, and I'm I'm not anything else, okay? So I am your teacher, so I will correct you, all right? So um, you need to be open for that. If you're not open and you take it personal and you get mad. You're here to learn, okay? And if you are incorrectly stating something for whatever reason, because, you know, because sometimes we speak that way when we're not at school or whatever, okay? Or you didn't know, you know, I mean, a lot of us, you know, our first language was Spanish, okay? So sometimes we don't conjugate correctly, okay? I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I'm, you know, I'm conjugating and I'm speaking like them and it's a very improper and very incorrect, okay? So you have to be open for that, okay? And what happened, there's two, several things. One time I was speaking with this gentleman and um, he said something incorrectly and I followed just because I didn't want to make, me, make him feel bad, but then he corrected me, which was appropriate. 
And so then, um, you know, so then I, it was, he was correct. He, I should have never spoken like that. All right. And I knew it was incorrect, but I just kept on going. So after that, you know, and, and because, and I, and I did that because it's, it's weird, right? We're on online and this and that. But if we were in regular class, I would say so too. So there's communication that we have through YouTube. You know, you can call me, you can text me. I will text immediately, okay? Be mindful of that because if you're texting me at 12 o'clock at night, I'm gonna think that someone died. So be mindful of that, okay? And I'm probably not gonna be okay if you tell me that you missed your, your you know, your um, whatever, right? Your test or whatever, and you're texting me at 12 o'clock just to verify that you put it in. So that's not gonna go well. So be mindful of the time frames, but um, going back to that. Okay. If, um, so we have a lot of communication, so please be mindful and as best as you can be appropriate in your conjugations and your verbs sent and sentence structures, because if you are not, I will correct you and you can't take it personal and you can't get mad. Okay. You know, because if you get mad, then you're not ready for school because school is about learning and it's about being corrected all the time. Okay. Because we're gonna make you better, all right? Because that's what you're here for. And that's why I did my bio and tell you everything that I do and that all the degrees that I have precisely to verify and prove that I am able to teach this course because I have all these experiences and I also have these degrees and these certifications and these licenses, okay? So um, so that that is another thing, okay? so. Just chill out, okay? And if you don't take anything personal, we are here to make you succeed and we want you to succeed. And it's better that I correct you than when you're talking incorrectly or speaking incorrectly to somebody that is of importance because if you do not speak correctly, it tells the person where you're from, it tells them your social economic status, okay? And it tells them your academic level, all right? So the better that you the, the better that you speak and the better you write and the better that you converse, the higher level you come across and there's nothing like speaking appropriately, okay? So that was really long wind. So daily attendance is done Monday and Tuesday, all right? And um, And usually you will be getting your homework. The only homework for yesterday was your screenshot and uploaded. Today, I will be discussing your homework, okay? But usually your homework will be given out on Monday. I do wanna say that I usually have my exams a whole week before, okay? So that way you don't have to worry about my class and you worry about the other classes and you study for the other classes. My exams will be exactly like your test, all right? but I'm gonna be grading them as exams. So you don't have to study for them, but you do need to get them in. And remember, I'm giving you guys a break in a lot of um, instances, okay, in general as a class. So please be mindful and please be respectful of me and my class. If you leave me till the end, if you think that I'm not worth anything, then your grade isn't worth anything to me either, right? And I will take that consideration, the same consideration you gave me, I will take it if you need help when you come to me. Now, if it's a huge, like emergency or whatever and you know and and there's stuff that you know really happened and that's a whole different thing okay teams as i said you can communicate uh, th you can communicate through email you can communicate through messenger and you can communicate through teams my preference is teams okay because i only check the other ones once a week once a day all right so if i've checked it i'm not going to check it check it till the next day and part of having so many uh, you know, platforms to be able to communicate with me creates a very confusing and and um, confusing, okay, situation for me because I have to look through all of it in order to see what it is that we agreed upon. So my preference is Teams. If you have not downloaded the app, please do so. If you don't know how to download the app, go to uh, IT. They are excellent and they help you tremendously, but it's like downloading any single app and I believe that it's free, okay? And we have meetings through there and we communicate through there. So make sure that you download Teams and communicate through Teams, um, you know, through communicate to me through Teams, okay? I will answer almost immediately if I if I have not answered, it's because I, I physically cannot, but I will get to you as soon as I can, okay? Now, another thing, if you tell me that you contacted me and, you know, and I didn't answer back, I'm just, I'm just gonna forewarn you, okay? I'm super, super professional and anybody will tell you this, okay? So I answer immediately, 
so it's only going to get me mad when you tell me and then I'm going to have to look through all my stuff because I always keep it all because that's part of, you know, what I do and that's part of being professional and that's part of like really making sure that you get covered, right? And when I go back and I see that you didn't communicate with me and you're lying, I'm going to call you on it, okay? And I'm probably going to be less likely to help you out, okay? So I, I don't play like that. I'm pretty straight shooter um, and, uh, and I, I don't like to be called out on something that is not appropriate. I also do not like to be called out if there's something that happened, you know, like, let's say there was an agreement, but you didn't keep your agreement. And then you hit me up a couple of like, you know, like finals week or, you know, on finals day and said, but you agreed on this and you never turned anything in. And then you threatened me to go to the directors. That's not going to go well with me. Okay. Because, um, because it's not, so be mindful. All right. Remember, okay. Um, we're pretty flexible until we're not. And until we're pushed or we're, um, you know, we're being played okay nobody likes to be played and everybody likes to be res respected so as long as you're respectful and as long as um you know you say really what what happens then we're good all right discussion boards okay the discussion boards for me are going to be very different they're going to be videos that exist in the su library okay and that's what it's called there's a platform and there's a link and so there's um, su teaches is what they're called and then um uh there's other videos and so the videos are going to be informative videos and i want you to watch I've had them for my classes. In fact, I had some complaints from other students. They're like, Miss, you have the same videos because I do have the same videos for our classes. Bear with me because I there's some students that are barely with me and so I want them to see the video. And so the video is going to be for every class. If you've already seen the video, just play along, you know, comment, okay, if you, and so um, and it's easier for me, I think, and it's, they're important videos that I think will be very beneficial to you instead of like maybe asking other questions that I think that would be um you know um i think the videos that i put are more beneficial so be mindful of that you know the uh rules to the discussion boards are you have to comment to two others there's going to be old comments on that you can comment on the old ones but i prefer that you comment among yourself okay i will be opening that up later on today later on this week just because i don't want you to be overwhelmed because it's online and so for those of you who, have ha who i've had for online and you know you already know what the course is but other ones are very confused about everything okay the powerpoint for chapter one is just a PowerPoint. You will not find any of the instructions for chapter one within the chapter one uh, lecture, okay, video lecture or PowerPoint. The reason for that is because you have to watch the daily attendance and and those are pre-recorded videos, okay, as is my welcome and as is my bio, okay, because I started, I was recording every every month, you know, every term, every term, every term, it was crazy. So I always sort of, sort of say the same thing. So those are standard um, uh, videos right and that's why they're pre-recorded so um so just depending on the term and depending on the length of the term and depending on my classes you know sometimes the class work changes and that's why we don't have um uh, that's why it's not stated in the lecture because every term it changes okay and you do have to watch the daily video in order to understand and see what the um you know what the uh, homework is okay so um so that so i'll be opening up the discussion board shortly the apa book apa book okay that you have uh, like it's sort of on top of my um, you know my bio okay because there's two that's before week one okay that is not your book okay and you and I've had some students that have used it as an excuse okay so that just means that you haven't opened any book and you don't know how my class goes and that's really gonna really get me upset okay so the APA book is an APA book okay it tells you how to do APA we just finished the English department just finished a huge video okay on how to do APA what to look for how to do a research paper so I'm gonna be I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna be putting up that link and it's very very uh, useful and insightful okay so that's gonna be part of your um, SU uh, part of your discussion board and I highly encourage you to really keep it you know because you might need it for other classes you won't need it for mine but you're going to need it for other classes we did used to have you know my classes used to have to write uh, before you know complete like um, you know 
uh, papers, research papers and stuff, but I just didn't think that it was long enough. So you're welcome, all right? I didn't think that the term was long enough and that it didn't allow, but um, if you all wanna write research papers, let me know and do in the comment below. I can restructure my whole class, all right? So let me know. So the APA book, the APA is not your, your book, okay? It's not your book at all, all right? Later on in, as you go down before week one, you're going to have your link to your book and it's going to be an ebook. Okay. So business communication is going to have their link. And then of course, English 145 and then English 133 is going to have theirs. So make sure that it, it opens there. Usually I think uh, business communication is an ebook and then the other books for English are Cengage. Okay. So those are going to be different. Make sure that you learn how to go through it and navigate through the book. When you're telling me I can't find this or whatever, and there's time, times that, you know, sometimes my students reach out they've never opened the book it's crazy all right so don't do that because i'm gonna know if you opened it or not or if like you don't know what you're talking about but you didn't even open the book so you make sure that your book is open and that's part of uh you know your uh, homework as well okay all assignments uh which are homework all right not your learning activity which is a daily attendance it's going to be done in word document i do not want any pictures on it if you turn in a picture i will not grade it and you will get a zero okay be mindful and make sure that you follow instructions i had several students that did not last term and they just didn't care and so i'm not gonna if you do not follow instructions i will not grade your book you cannot i will not grade your assignments your homework assignments or your test you your test and your homework assignments which are your chapter of assignments have to be done in word and they have to be typed okay and don't tell me that you don't have a knife uh you know an ipad you can do it on your phone you can go to the library okay um and you know it's just my class is really easy so if you're handwriting it you're working super super hard and it's going to take you forever and i don't want that for my classes i want you to get in do it quickly fast you're usually copy and paste it you copy and paste your answer and then you turn it in you make sure that you title it correctly with your name the course you know the whatever it is english 133 english 145 business communication and then your section a500 or a501 also when you're communicating with me okay and to me please make sure that you state your name and you state your course and your section because i'm gonna have to go back and check to see what class you're in and i'm gonna have to check certain things so just make sure that you know what it is and it's usually when i ask you for the section it's section a500 or a501 because i have I have different classes. I have several classes for each course, all right? So make sure that you I, you uh, put that in. So make sure that all your assignments that are chapter are in Word document. If they are not in Word document, I will not accept it. I do accept pages, it's hard to open. And then there's other ones, there might be notes as well that you can use and there's other programs. But what I'm saying is that I will not accept pictures for your Word documents, which is your homework assignments, your chapter assignments. And they're also your, um, what is it? Your um, Your test, okay? Um, so, and your tests will be exactly like your homework assignments, but they're going to be graded as tests and we will be taking that sooner than later. If you disagree with this, make sure that you comment below that you want your test when it's supposed to be due. And so that way we can work on that and give you that. For those of you who want your, you know, maybe your assignments, you know, your tests a little bit sooner, you know, make sure that you, uh, comment below. Okay. So, um, when I assign a chapter, you, that means you need to read the chapter, okay? So sometimes I don't say to do read the chapter, but uh, it's an assumption, right? Which you shouldn't do, and I should be explicit, but make sure that you read the chapter, okay? That's what you're, part of your homework is that you're going to read the chapter, and we're going to go in chronological order. It just makes it easier. I do do a tutoring Mondays and Tuesdays starting next week, uh, and then uh, my last week is usually the fourth or the fifth week. I, um, I do a lot of stuff in tutoring. I can help you with tutoring, but really what it is is that a lot of students come to me and um, and um, I sort of prepare you for your other classes or there's someone, like if you're really, you know, um, if you're not disciplined enough or you're not organized enough, if you come to me, then it's somebody that you have to, you know, give accountability to. We'll review what you had to do last week and then what your assignments are the following week. And then so I prep you for that and I get you ready for that. OK, and so you come every week and, you know, I've had some students that have come every week and we review everything. They go do their homework, you know, and so and if they have difficulty getting con getting in contact with the teacher, I usually help them. So any type of issues or any type of Anything that you need, I'm there to help you. I'm usually there from 9 to 11 on Mondays and Tuesdays, okay? 
Um, what else with that, which is really important. I also do meditation. Um, so we can do meditation if you want, and um, it's helped students tremendously, okay? So I'm very open to whatever it is that you need. Um, I also, you know, am, am, an, am an entrepreneurial, so uh, entrepreneur, so if you have any questions in terms of business or whatever, okay, like money management or anything like that, I'm pretty good at that. I also used to teach like business math, which was very, lots and lots of fun, okay? So, um, so let me know. Um, I think that concludes it before we start with our homework assignments. Before we do that, I do have another channel because I'm very spiritual and it's also another business. And so um, I have an Instagram account as well. If you're super religious, it's not gonna work for you. So, um, you know, so don't be offended, okay? But, um, but anyway, so I love fortune cookies. So let's see what you get for a fortune cookie before I tell you what your, um, what your assignment is for this week, all right? Choosing what you want to do and when you and when to do it is an act of creation. So choosing what you want to do and when to do it is an act of creation. There is nothing better than being able to have the freedom to do whatever it is that you want. And part of getting to that is to be able to go to school, right? And maybe make more money or have a higher position, okay? So that's a perfect, that's a really good fortune cookie. All right. All right. So I will put up the stamps, um, you know, when we're done. So bear with me. And, um, and this will be due chapter one for all classes will be due today is Tuesday. Cause I'm filming this on Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll do Friday midday. I mean, midnight. Okay. To turn in. All right. Remember that this is going to be on a Word document, all right? You can copy and paste it, you know, copy and paste the question and then copy and paste the answer or type in the answer into a Word document, okay? And then you go up and upload on SU, which is probably first week assignment. In case I have not opened the assignment, make sure that you text me and you let me know. I'm going to try to get it done by the time that this uh, video is up, okay? So, um, so I think that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. I'm pretty flexible. Um, I'm pretty flexible. All right. So here we go. Business communication, uh, a 500 and a 501 chapter one objectives, 1.1 through 1.6 questions, one through 18. Okay. And I think it's called checkup, um, look, what is it called? I think it's called like uh, learning objective checkup, okay? Let me write that down. Learning objective checkup, and it's usually at the end of the chapter where you will find this. So objectives 1.1 through 1.6, that means that you know those questions are gonna be covered all covering all those. And then you have questions one through 18. So you copy and paste the objective, and then you copy and paste the question, and then you copy and paste the answer, okay? Don't just put one B or whatever, because then I don't know what you're talking about, okay? So that's for business communication, A500 and A501, and it's due Friday midnight. Moving right along to English 133, a 500 and and a 501 all right so you have at the end of the chapters okay of of the chapters you have tests and so you're going to do test one and two at the end of the chapter all right you copy and paste the question onto your word document and then you um you op you uh put down you type in your answer and then you upload onto su portal okay so english 133 a 500 and a 501 test one and two at the end of the chapter and we're moving along to uh english 133 um uh, i mean sorry 145 okay it's because i'm trying to write this down 145 um english 145 a 500 and a 501 you're gonna have to read the whole chapter within the chapter there's gonna be exercises practices and activities okay so you're gonna do activity one two five and six okay so you're gonna have to go through the chapter to figure out where that is so you're gonna copy and paste the question and copy and paste the answer onto a word document and you're gonna title the word document and then upload it so that's gonna be activities one two five and six okay and that is due friday midnight that concludes this namaste love and light